Hi everyone, so in today's video I am going to unbox the Nika Hot Pink Sale box that I received from Nika. The Nika Hot Pink Sale just went live and I have filmed a few videos for you guys that are going to go live during the sale that is from 25th to 30th. For the Hot Pink Sale last year, I think I did my top 3 favorites in every category for makeup. But this time I'm gonna start with some unboxing. I received this huge package. I actually received a package last year as well but I wasn't able to unbox it in front of the camera and I really regret that. So this time I'm just going to unbox this package. And now let's just get into this package. It's very heavy so that's why I kept it on the floor. I have got skincare products in there, makeup and some hair care as well and a few body care products too. I mean I didn't get a chance to have a good look at the products. I thought that I will do that in front of the camera so let's get started. Now I'm not sure if I will be able to fit this box in the frame because it's so big. Look at the size of this thing. Before I move forward a huge thanks to the Nika team for sending such a big box. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Actually it was very organized but I did check out some of the products so now it's not that organized. And I'm just gonna place this box on my lap because it's super heavy and we're gonna go through the products one by one. I'm gonna start off with skincare and the first product that I have is the Minimalist Niacinamide 10% Face Serum. I don't think I've tried the Niacinamide Serum from minimalist i've tried their alpha arbutin i've tried their vitamin c since this is a bestseller i'm really excited to try this out also niacinamide is an ingredient that is my second favorite if we consider pigmentation that's because i like vitamin c the most for pigmentation it is also a very universal ingredient because niacinamide is something that can be used by a lot of different skin types um, even sensitive skin so I really like this ingredient and it really works for me it obviously takes a little bit of time to show like visible results but it does work for me so I'm really excited to try it out and now talking of niacinamide we have the plum rice water and niacinamide 10% serum I absolutely love this serum I used up like two bottles of this serum and it's a really good serum if you have dry or combination skin type. It's also a really good serum for winters. If you want to incorporate niacinamide in your winter skincare routine, this is a serum that you should definitely try. It's very calming and both of these serums have no fragrance. After this, we have the Nika Naturals Skin Potion. This is their 24 karat gold facial oil. And I'm just going to open this up because I have never seen this. I've never used this. A little bit of ASMR for you guys. I like using facial oils but only during winters and that is because during summers my t-zone gets really oily as you can see it has already started getting a little bit oily so it has really tiny gold particles after this i have another serum this is l'oreal revital left hyaluronic acid serum now i want to let you know that this package was sent to me by nika so all of these are best sellers and there are going to be products that are not cruelty free in here. I really liked it but I didn't repurchase it because I am trying to avoid brands that are not cruelty free. But if you like a very lightweight serum, this is a really good hyaluronic acid serum. Then we have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I don't think I have tried this before. Alright, so I don't think that this has got any shimmer which is a good thing. It has a very very light fragrance. And I really like the feel of it on my hand. Like it's kind of cooling and soothing. So since I received it, I think I'm going to use it as a moisturizer. After this, I have the Biotic Coconut Brightening Instant Glow Cream. Again, I haven't tried a lot of products from Biotic. I think I just have tried their eyeliner and their shampoo, the Bio Kelp, the one which is blue in color. I have tried that and nothing other than that. This actually feels kind of gel-like. It looks very thick in the tub, but it feels very lightweight. But why is this called brightening? Because coconut is not something that is like a brightening ingredient. And it's supposed to make your skin smoother and brighter. Again, I've never used this, never tried this, never bought this. So this is the first time I am 
trying this product this is the best seller so if you guys have tried this product let me know your thoughts okay so next i have a body mist this is the dark kiss fine fragrance mist this is by bath and body works this is my first product from bath and body works i have heard so much about this brand like the body washes are amazing but i haven't tried them so this is the first time i am gonna try something from bath and body works and this retails for rupees 1500 but obviously it's sales so you're gonna get a discount so i'm just going to try this out so my first impression is that it smells exactly like the kayali pink pepper i have used it and this is like a very warm fragrance this has got black raspberry burgundy rose dark vanilla bean so anyways this is a very warm fragrance so this is something that i'd like using during winters after this i have a hair mask this is the shortscope keratin smooth perfect treatment mask now i haven't used this a hair mask that i absolutely love is the plum one that is the best hair mask i've used till date and it really works for frizzy hair you just have to apply it and leave it for at least 20 to 25 minutes and after that you wash it off obviously apply it after the shampoo not before that so yeah it will really control the frizz and it will make your hair very manageable so i really like that hair mask i think i will try this once i exhaust the then we have something that i haven't tried before this is a scalp scrub this is from m caffeine this is the m caffeine naked and raw coffee scalp scrub uh, i have to say that m caffeine's packaging is amazing i really like how they pack their products and i absolutely love their coffee body scrub that gives me baby smooth skin so yeah i'm really excited to try this out and also because of the fact that i haven't tried a scalp scrub like ever in my life so i'm excited to try this out you also get this really nice spatula with this and i'm not a coffee person i don't like drinking coffee but the smell is amazing this has a very gel like consistency and i think that will make it easy to massage it into your hair let's just keep it here on the table i don't want to drop it because your glass now we just have makeup so let's get to makeup i'm gonna start with primer obviously i'm not gonna apply it but let's just start with it so the first product is a primer this is the color bar perfect match primer i used to love it back in the day if you guys have seen my older videos you will know i used to mention it in all of my videos this is a really good mattifying and you know pore blurring kind of primer for all skin types also color bar i think is cruelty free so yeah this is an amazing primer i just love the texture of this primer and it's a really good product to grab during sales because otherwise it retails for around 875 and i think there will be a discount during the sale this is one of my favorite like mattifying and pore minimizing sort of primer it can be used by dry skin too because it's not heavy on your skin and it's not gonna mattify your skin too much it's just this very lightweight and beautiful texture i don't know why i stopped using you i really have no idea then we have a mascara this is the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara in the shade blackest black i know why this is a bestseller it's a really good mascara i tried this years ago and i haven't used this mascara for years and i don't know if they changed the formula or anything like that but i loved the formula of this mascara and it's a spot on dupe of the Too Faced mascara i think if you want to make your lashes look more voluminous and just more extra then this is a better mascara than the Too Faced mascara the difference between these two is that this one that is the Too Faced one is very very lightweight and you won't feel it on your eyes basically but this one it's gonna give you that intense volume and curl but it is gonna feel like you have something on your eyes after that we have an eyeshadow palette this one is from Lacme this is the Lacme absolute spotlight smoke and glam eyeshadow palette this is a smoking glam variant which has got all your deep shades for a smoky eye look i have tried another variant of this eyeshadow palette and i didn't like it now this palette swatches okay and i don't know how it's going to perform on the eyes the other variant that i have i i didn't like it at all so yeah i'm just going to try it out and see how this goes on the eyes i don't even have an eyeshadow primer on because i just applied 
like a coal a brown coal and i think the mats are okay like it blends really nicely even with a dense brush this blue is super pigmented so i'm just gonna give it a try so this is the best i can do casually you also get a useless like sponge tip kind of applicator with this which i Wait, I should have used it to pack on the blue. I take my words back. This isn't useless. Alright, so that's the eyeshadow palette. And now I've got a few lip shades. Obviously, the first one is the Nika So Cream Creamy Matte Lipstick in Wake Up Makeup. This is like a really popular shade. So it's a good nude shade for light to medium skin tones, I'd say. I must have mentioned it in a video or something. I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys again. So this is what it looks like. It, it is a pink toned brown nude. But if you are my skin tone, you need a lip liner with this. Then we have the K-Beauty Matte Drama Matte Lipstick and this one is in the shade Snapshot. This is another really pretty mauve kind of shade. It's again a nude I think so I'm gonna swatch it here. Yeah this is a mauve nude. If I had to purchase these lipsticks I'd definitely get them during a sale otherwise these are like completely out of my budget. After this I have a shade from Maybelline. So this is the Maybelline Superstay lipstick and this is a really pretty bold red shade. Then I'm gonna swatch here. This is a cool toned red. It has got a blue undertone as I can see. So it's definitely gonna make your teeth look white. And those are the three lipsticks that I have. And I think that's it. Those are all the products. If I haven't missed anything, my table is a mess right now. So that's it for the unboxing video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this because this is not something that I do generally. Since Nika sent a huge box, I really wanted to unbox it in front of you guys. So yeah. I hope that you find this video helpful. I'm going to link all of these products in the description box if you guys want to check it out because these are the best sellers. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The Superstay, I think, lipstick, crayon. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just applied it. I don't know why. On the inside, uh -huh. I was about to drop it. So I feel like starting with skincare today because I don't know why. This just proves one thing. I was really bad at applying eyeshadow maybe. I don't know who's gonna clean this table, not me.